Well, hello, good people. Mark Holmes here. And as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. I'm actually, I just uploaded a video, and this is a take to kind of help you guys as far as um, YouTube goes and understanding what happens in YouTube. YouTube, I've, I uploaded a video, Skip Bayless and Shannon Sharp on Undisputed Today ended up um, having a word, so to speak. That's a hot topic. So this is a wave. If you go on Twitter, you'll see all kinds of comments about what's going on and clips and things of it. And so there's a wave and people are trying to find out what happened. So I want to show you guys here what's actually going on. I have actually uploaded this video um, about 30 minutes ago, okay? It's already got 623 views, 41 hours of watch time. And as you look at the chart in here, you'll see, uh, let me pull it up a little further. You'll see the bar right here, which is what is typical. The, the gray line is what is typical for the videos. And you can see how this one is really going up. Now, I've been sitting here watching it for the first, actually, it hasn't even been 30 minutes yet, has it? It has been 22 minutes. I've been watching the numbers on this and how it goes. If you look over here in the corner, you'll see browse feature. 68% of the views have come from the browse feature. But what's interesting is, is this video immediately started getting people looking at it. And this is how the YouTube algorithm actually works. And you're watching this evolve in real time. Because what YouTube looks at is, are people watching it and how long they're watching it for? That's the first thing. Second is the retention there. Third is how quickly do people start watching? And the algorithm sees these things and says, all of a sudden people are watching this, then we're going to share it more. So from the time I turned on my streaming software, originally when this video had about 300 views on it, the suggested video number percentage was only like, uh, like 2%. Um, the browse feature was like 85%. But what's happening is, is those numbers are changing. So what's happening is you're looking now that the suggested videos uh, percentage of the views are now from being suggested 12.8. So what happens with YouTube is because people are interacting right away and quicker, they say, oh, this is good. People are watching this. They want to watch this. So let's share it more. And that's the difference. It's not that I'm putting anything different than anybody else. It's just that people come to it right away and what you have to understand if you're trying to grow your channel is interaction is like gold if people watch for a long time which is the first thing you want people to watch at least 40 percent of the video if you can get that on average that's great but interaction is key if somebody hits the like button if they subscribe if they uh, make a comment if comment is honestly the best thing that you could ever ask for for a youtube video because not only does that mean they watched it they felt something about it so that means you've made a connection and now they've spent their time to actually put a comment onto it and so you can see as we're watching this now we're up to 12.7 percent of the views are from suggested so now it's youtube making this video go it's their algorithms are saying hey in the first let's see let me refresh it because you won't see the the 623 views won't per se refresh so youtube is saying hey in the first 25 minutes 782 people watch this and interacted with this so now they're going to say we need to go ahead and put this out here more because in the end what youtube wants it's not a matter if they like you or hate you they only care that they're interacting with you and so they're going to go ahead and say let's push this out more and that's the thing you have to understand so things you can do to help your channel and it's hard to do this for me um, because I've got this channel, I've got my cooking channel, I've got my woodworking channel, and I have a full-time job with maintaining my 
rental properties along with doing my woodwork and things. Um, but the things that you can do if you're a small channel and a new channel to try and take advantage of this thing is by being interactive with your base. When somebody takes the time to make a comment, at least like it, give it a hearts up, let them know that you read it. Better yet, you comment on these things. These are ways of getting people to interact with you more. And the sooner that happens, because what I always love is when people say, I'm the first, um, because those quick interactions, the sooner that people hit your videos, the sooner that the algorithms will pick you up and see again. You can see in real time, in just the five minutes that we've been here, you can see that our suggested video views on this video are 13.5%. It is YouTube saying, we want this thing to go. And that's one of the things that you learn with YouTube um, about growing. And it's difficult to see you need consistency. And, and this is a problem if things I've learned in YouTube are being consistent. If you don't do many videos, and I do so many videos, people know I'll just go in some point at the day and Mark will have content because I am the, the breaking news guy. I ride the wave of the news, what people are searching for. But in your niche, you want to make sure you're consistent. If you only do two videos a week, make sure you do those two videos at the same time each week so you can train people to say, oh, it's Tuesday. You know, Mark's going to be coming out with a cooking video. So let me check it out and see the new content. Um, and make sure that you interact. If you do, you, you might do a video that's a great video and gets tons and tons of views. But then if you don't do another video for a month, YouTube is now starting all over as far as standpoint of who you are. And that's where being consistent over time. And there is no secret to being successful in YouTube. It's consistency and it's the slow growth that gets you there. And so as we're looking at this, look at this. Bam. This is crazy watching this video go in real time. 915 views in basically the first half an hour and watching how the suggested video percentage number is growing like crazy. So that's the little bit that I can give you as far as YouTube goes um, to help you grow your channel. And it'll be interesting to look back on this video because this video is steadily going up. As you look at the percentages um, on it, you'll see that it's, you know, usually a video will kind of go up, it'll hit its peak and then kind of come down a hyperbole. And seeing this, the views on this are continuing to continue to rise on this. And so this is how you're actually making a video. I won't say that mine will be viral because viral would be hundreds of thousands of views. Um, but this will probably be uh, maybe eight, 10,000 or so views on it. So that's my tip for you. Uh, we're gonna just we'll just watch this for a little bit longer and see how far it goes. At least get to a thousand views on it. I'm gonna refresh it so that way we can see exactly how much time has gone. So in the first 30 minutes and five seconds, 973 views, and you can see how it's still climbing up there. It's kind of crazy that there is a little bit of science too watching um this it's actually uh, this is one of those things that um you don't think much about but there's so much knowledge and things that you can learn about your videos by going through analytics that you know things you never thought about or finding out what's working and when you find things that are working you want to continue to do those things that are working and uh hone what you're doing Okay, so actually uh, suggested, look at that. So now what you're seeing is from the browse feature, it's kind of coming down. It's up to 15% of the views are suggested. So what YouTube is doing right now is they're sending this and feeding it to it. The um, channel pages you see 
It's only 1.9% of it. YouTube search is only 3%. But you're seeing how the suggested is literally, it, you can, we're watching it change in real time. This is, is actually amazing to see this. Wow. This is crazy. Okay, so it actually dropped back just a little bit on the suggested, I think because of the other browse features are now picking up. But this is the difference of when you're doing your video of it only being shared on your page or to your subscribers. Um, I don't even see if it's the subscribers. Let's see more. Okay, so you can see how the hyperbole is going up on there. Let's go back because seeing that, um, I don't see subscribers listed on there any longer. But you're still 15% by suggested. That's killing it. All right, so that's the little bit of knowledge that I have for you. And um, it's kind of crazy to actually see this. So we're at... 1,089 views in the first 32 minutes and watching those change. So hopefully this helps you guys out a little bit, learn a little bit more about YouTube and things that you can try. I'm Mark Holmes, and well, keep up the hard work there on the YouTube. Unbelievable watching this in real time. Peace.